most charcoal is made by in kilns, brick kilns, or earthen kilns dug into a bank in a in a tropical area or in a you know a third world country. A lot of work in that and expense. Whereas this is ten dollars, five dollars worth of secondhand materials from a dump. To make charcoal, you've got to shield it from oxygen to stop it turning into ash. Mm. Again, it's not sealed; it's a flame shielded way of doing it. But this is a much simpler way, and it's all come. The interest in charcoal and biochar has come from uh, the discovery that in Brazil there's this really rich soil, or in the Amazon, sorry, in the rainforest there, terra preta they call it, black soil apparently, mm. and. It's been worked out that the big civilization that was supported there before Europeans turned up on what is rainforest soils are notoriously poor, they found out a way to burn household waste and timber and what have you to enrich the soil with charcoal. And that started mm. the biochar, interest in biochar 30 years or so back, it's been building somewhat since then. So this, at current Australian prices, this is probably worth a couple of thousand dollars if we had a market for it, but you've got to treat, condition it and bag it and market it and yeah. so what happens to this in the long run I'm not sure. As it reaches this stage you add, you keep adding more mm. and the flames on the top exclude the oxygen yep. and it just slowly it builds up with yeah. carbon, it's a brilliant idea. Right. Then you've got to douse it all with water all right. Right. Okay. and you've got to do it really well because the second one here was over there somewhere and next morning I came back and this one was fine and that one was all ash. Two, two or three blokes yeah. put in, a, I don't know, three or four hours to do these two of them and some people got paid in charcoal. We've done, done a few prior to that as well.